Well, it turns out Detroit has been secretly testing autonomous buses. Yeah, but for the first time, they were put to use tonight with real people on board. The night camp's Tim Pamplin went along for a ride and discovered there's a problem unique to downtown Detroit. <laughs> well, I don't know if I believe it. We're inside a self-driving vehicle driving around downtown Detroit, and this isn't a test. This is the real deal. Dan Gilbert bought these vehicles into his employees. It's actually pretty cool. It was, I thought that's something we only see maybe in cartoons or sci-fi movies. As less and less people own cars, rely on Uber and Lyft, mobility, getting around, has now been put on the fast track. I think it's absolutely the wave of the future. I think it would be foolish to believe that these vehicles aren't going to be on the streets with us every day in the next few years. So if you're a Bedrock employee, you've even got the app. It shows you where the vehicles are. This is real world testing. They came across a problem right here. Steam. Steam has turned out to be kind of an interesting gotcha. It turns out that steam is visible to our sensors. What do you do? How do we get around that? Uh, well, we, we're, we're learning to tell the difference between steam and pedestrians. So in the meantime, as they try and figure that one out, they do have an engineer on board, a software engineer, in case there's any emergencies he can override. But that engineer has no input. It's completely autonomous. That is the scene right now, downtown, with the night camp. Tim Pamplin, local four. How cool is that? Of all the problems downtown, it'd be the steam. The steam. That, that's I do not, yeah, the steam bothers me as well. <laughs>